Uh, hello everyone, uh, Jeb from Jeb's Project. Now let's see what we have on the bench today. On the bench today we have a Galaxy Saturn Turbo. Uh, basically an RCI uh, 2970 chassis in a case with its own power supply and a 100 watt amp off the back. The complaint on this radio is low AM audio. It's supposed to be good on sideband, good on FM, but low AM. So, uh, let's see what we can find. Okay, starting off, let's start with the uh, block diagram of the, uh, of the radio. Coming out of pin 2 is our audio coming into our IC16. Comes in on pin 3, out on pin 1. And then it goes around the circle for the AGC. So either we have a problem in the AGC, which is a possibility, or once it splits here from FM at Q58 to sideband uh, and then AM up here. So we're good on sideband, good on FM. So we come in here on the AM side and it comes over to Q51, 2, and 3. And then comes over to the driver and the final, uh, the Q48 and Q47, which is the driver and the uh, final. And then goes on out through the, fil through the filtering. So we'll go over to the schematic and look up uh, Q51, 2, and 3. And trace the path back to pin 1 on IC16. Okay, starting at pin 1 here on IC16, we know that 3 is the input and 1 is the output. At this point, we know that uh, according to the block diagram, Q58 is where the FM and sideband and so on split right here at this junction. This goes on over to Q, the base of Q58. So that's FM over into this direction, either here uh, or here, splits off for sideband. So if we follow this down over here through 240, come on down over and down through 298 we see our Q51 that's your AM regulator then it comes down through here to VR13 which is AM power control and then it comes on down into Q52 which uh, runs Q53 which 53 basically runs 51 so our audio is coming down through here, down through here, and feeding this line, which is changing the collector of 52, which is changing the base of 53, which is changing the emitter of the uh, of 53, which is changing the base to 51, which controls a little over six volts for AM and 13 volts for sideband. But not only do you have your 6 volts for AM, you also have your AM audio. So let me get set up here and uh, I'll go to Q51 on the radio and show you on the scope what I'm talking about on the oh, base of uh, Q51 and the collector of Q51. Which, okay, let's continue on here. Comes off 51 down and comes over to feed, comes down through here, over here to feed the finals, their uh, collector voltages here and here. This shows two finals in this particular radio but not in the turbo. The turbo only uses one because it has the amp off the back. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at the audio on uh, the base of Q51. Okay, let's check the uh, pin one on IC16 of our preamp, which is right down here. Okay, on the scope. Uh, let's take a look here. As soon as I get a hold of the mic. Yeah, one, two, three, three, one. Okay, I don't know if something's that right. Yeah. I just texted. One, two, three, three, one. Oh, two, three, three, one. There, I'm knocking things all over the place. Okay, you can see we have audio off of the preamp without much of a problem. That's looking good. Okay, I chased it back to all the way through through the capacitors and uh, chased it on down to the uh, to the driver. And uh, well, up. Okay. Let me reset my meter. Uh, reset the oscilloscope. All I need to do is raise the voltage, actually. Yeah. Okay, we're at 5 volts per division. Now, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, okay, you see, we got good audio now. Okay, so what I found was a bad capacitor. I'll switch over to the schematic and show you. Okay, what I found here is on Q52, I pulled that and checked it. It checked good. See, we got a base here, which we're be being fed to the base for the audio. Comes on this diode to this capacitor to the ground, C301. You got a resistor coming back to the emitter. Well, what I found is this capacitor was way out of value. It was showing in the nanofarads instead of the microfarads. So I got a new 100 volt, uh, t or yeah, 100 microfarad, t uh, 25 volt, and replaced that capacitor. I don't know why they put a 10 volt capacitor in this circuit when it does seem to exceed that voltage. So I put a uh, 100 microfarad 25 volter in there and got my audio back, which is really, really cool. Got good, solid audio. Now my uh, BR14 is working properly. So we've got good adjustment on our audio now. Okay, the uh, C301 located right here right below the your AM uh, regulator you just come down and right near the power wire here there's these two pins that's where the capacitor is located on the other side that way you can uh, just pop that out I'll bet that'll take care of your audio problems all right very good well, we can button this thing up. I do have a couple other things I need to do to it. It's just a matter of adjustments and so on. But, uh, well, I hope this helps someone that has a Galaxy or an RCI that uh, has low AM audio. It's more than likely just that capacitor. I just put a 100 microfarad 25 volter in place of the 100 microfarad 10 volter. So that ought to do the trick. Oh, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit a hundred uh, subscribers before the first of the year. Only got a couple of weeks. <laughs> Don't know if we'll make it, but let's give it a give her a try. I will catch you in the next one. Have fun.